Okay, hey everybody, Merry Christmas. The Christmas holidays have started for me. It's Friday and I got out of work early today and I went to the local fish store and uh, this is gonna be like a two part video. Plus I have a palm video coming for you guys today as well. So it's kind of cool. Um, look at this beautiful coral. Now, how does that stand out with all the blue lighting? Beautiful, eh? And then I got a bird's nest, some SPS corals. But anyway, this video is not about them per se. What we got going on? Quarantine tanks doing good. Chromuses are doing okay. My ras, Becky, doing great. What the heck is this algae clip for? Why do I have algae in there? That's weird. Well, in this bucket, I have two fish. One of them is my dream fish, and one of them is another great, awesome fish that's awesome in the hobby. And I, had, I am drip applum, app, applum, app, acclimating them as I speak. And I will show you uh, shortly, once everybody gets settled in, uh, what I have in the in the bucket, okay? And for the second part of the video, guys, it's now Saturday. You wanted to give some time here. And there she is, Dory. And uh, she's doing really good. She was the fish that uh, when we fed, when we fed the tank at the local fish store yesterday, this tank out of the 10 that were in there came right to the food right away. And uh, was super relaxed. So that is the one that I brought home and she's doing well and she's enjoying this quarantine tank with all the live rock and the <clears throat> I have caves and all kinds of beautiful natural hiding spots, which is really good. She actually slept under this rock last night. Uh, also in here, oh, let's see if you can see him. There he is, there's the other fish. There's my lawnmower, Blenny Herbie. He's a big boy, just chilling out. Beautiful fish, very odd looking, but they blend in with the rocks and they do a good job of cleaning algae. So I also have this clip here um, in case anybody wants to have a nibble of some fresh uh -uh, seaweed, uh, which is good for them. But um, so far, uh, Dory has been eating uh, mysa shrimp and brine shrimp. I uh, haven't seen her really eat pellets yet, but uh, I have everything I need to make sure that she uh, has a good diet and, uh, and that she will make it through quarantine and then we'll be in my new tank that's gonna go right here in a week. And that tank still has to cycle and go through all its stuff too. But these fish, by the time that's ready, should be good to go. So I've got my little school of chromis. Uh, one of them's got uronema and uh, that might take them all out. So chromis have been a crapshoot now. Very difficult fish to keep. They come with uronema and that's it. They basically kill each other with the uronema. Um, but uh, uh, hippo tangs like Dory here, they don't usually have any issues with it. Uh, Becky, my ras might. We will see. So far, she looks great and is happy and healthy and eating well. Beautiful fish as well. And, uh, oops, sorry guys. So anyway, this is my 30 gallon quarantine tank running two BioWheel 170s. So I have 360 gallons per hour of, of flow, aeration, uh, and filtration. And I have an Eheim Jagger 150 watt heater doing the job. And then of course, just the escape. So I wanted to have a natural escape for my quarantine, not just some PVC pipes. Um, if I do have to medicate with co uh, copper and ruin the rock, that's fine. Uh, I got the rock for five bucks a pound. Um, so uh, I'd rather do that and have these fish happy because they love this natural uh, escape here, which is really neat. So there's Dory kind of hiding on me there. But anyway, uh, there she is, guys. I got the Dory. My daughter was super happy. Uh, for her birthday. She was very excited. So hopefully Dory uh, will pass quarantine and be happy and healthy. We can keep her for a long time. That's the goal. So uh, that's the next stage in what we're doing here, getting ready for our new uh, water box aquarium. That's going to be coming soon and I'll be documenting that. Okay, guys, we'll talk soon.